Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use ion icons, ion icons, ion icons, who knows? Anyway, these icons in your project, they're premium designed icons for use on the web, iOS, Android and desktop apps. And best of all, they're completely open source and there are three different styles to choose from. Let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do before you put in any icons to your project is head over to this URL and hit usage and you will then find these two script tags which you need to load into your project before you use them. If you don't do this, they ain't gonna render. And you put them right before the closing body tag. So there they are. So now those are in, we can start loading the icons into the project. So you'll see in the finished project, I have this moon, this skull, this coffee cup, and this snowflake. But there are many, many others to choose from. And the way to copy them in, if you head back to the usage tab, is just to copy this iron icon component. So I'm copying that, putting it in my HTML, and you'll see that has now loaded. So I will put in three more of those, and now you simply go to the icon you want. So I know that I want the skull. And there you can just copy and paste the icon from here, or you can just type the name in here. And my skull has appeared. Now for the coffee one, I'm going to use the outline option. So I will in fact copy the entire component just because it's slightly easier. I didn't actually need to copy that one in the end, never mind. And there we have it. And the snowflake is just called snow. And I want to exchange my heart for moon. And for each icon, there's an outline, a filled, and a sharp option. So you can choose whichever one you think looks best in your project. Or for example, with the heart, it might make sense to use the outline one before someone's clicked it and the filled one after. It's entirely up to you. And if you want to use the sharp option, you just do sharp and the sharp variant loads. Very nice. But that's not all you can do in the HTML. No, you can also use a different icon depending on the platform you're on. So for example, this component here will load a different icon depending on what platform the user is on. And you can even change the size very easily with the size attribute, which I will now demonstrate with my snow. So we can do size equals small, we now have a smaller snowflake and large, massive snowflake. These icons are also really easy to color. So heading back over to the docs, all you need to do is in your CSS, copy this ion icon selector and change the color to anything you like. Woo, white snowflake. You can also change the stroke weight, which is quite nice. So what this does is it makes the outline ones basically have thicker lines. And the way to do that is just copy this attribute here. So it's now got 16, but I can really bump that up and have, I don't know, 56 or 86. Nice, thick coffee cup. Not bad. So very easy to style. So I will now style them to look like these funky buttons. I can do that with the selector I've already copied in. And I'll do background, white, padding, 1M, border radius, 50%. We have our circles. And then a border, three pixels, solid. And what's nice about not declaring a color on the border is that if you then change the color of the icons, say orchid, it also changes the color of the border. Whereas if I have declared a color, it will stay the color I've declared. So that's a nice touch. But I'll go back to black for now. And then just to finish these off, I can do a hover state and a focus state with cursor, pointer, and a background of yellow. And then as I want to spread them out a bit, I'll give them a margin of three M's. And then just to show you, if you decide you want the outline version of any of them at any point, you can just simply add outline into your HTML. How? Cool is that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can also download the SVG of each icon. So which one shall we do? Pizza. 
download this. I now have pizza outline SVG saved. I can drag this into my project. And now I can load them using this component here. So copy this, put this in here, and then I will just need to change this to pizza outline SVG. And there it is. The benefit of doing this is that you're not reliant on fetching the icons from Ion Icons. So you don't need to worry if there's some kind of outage, you will still be able to load your icons into your project because they are saved in the project itself. But it's entirely up to you which one you want to go for. Well, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. And if you enjoyed this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.